how's everybody doing today? I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, uh, I'm Jason Hunt. I uh, just wanted to put out this video uh, for those out there who may be dealing with sicknesses or or you have a family member who may be struggling or dealing with something similar, dealing with sickness or disease. Uh, I wanted to put this video out there to make to make this available for those who may be in hospital rooms or what have you and um, you're unable to have someone pray for you or have someone to um, pray with you concerning your sickness. Uh, you may be in the hospital room or whatnot right now and you're on that hospital bed and they, they tell you you don't have long to live. So I want to do this video for, for those out there if you have family members that are dealing with those type of things. But um, I believe that God is able to heal. Um, according to the scriptures, the Bible says that God is a healer. And um, we see a lot of times in the Word of God that God, He, um, he heals individuals and He says that he, He's a healer, but we, we may not see that in our, um, in our lives. So I wanted to put this video out there because I've seen God heal um, through, through myself, through this ministry. Um, and I, want, I wanted to do this video so those out there who are in desperate need in, um, in, in God's healing touch, I believe that God can touch you today. Um, I want to stand with you in your faith, in trusting God, and, um, and, and praying that God touches those out there who's watching this uh, so you can see God's miraculous healing power in your life. So I just want to read something before um, I get started in this prayer. Now this is a video prayer for healing in particular, and as I, as, as I said that um, that God is able to heal even through this video as you're watching. So I'm going to read this video to show how Jesus Christ, how He is a healer, um, and He, and just like He healed at this time in the Word of God, He can heal also today. Uh, it's in Matthew chapter 4 verse 23. It says, Jesus went throughout all of Galilee, uh, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of diseases and sickness among the people. Now, I'm going to read those three, uh, these three verses, um, 23, 24, and 25, but I just wanted to just highlight for, um, this verse for a second. Here is Jesus, right? Uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is operating through his life, right? And he's teaching in the synagogue, which, which at that time was what they call, um, what we call the church. That he was teaching in their synagogues, in the in these um, gatherings of um, of the believers, or whatnot, who read the Torah, and he was preaching and and, and when he preached, he was talking about the gospel of the kingdom, the good news of the kingdom of God. That's what the gospel means. It means good news. So here is Jesus. He's preaching the good news of the kingdom, and then he's healing all kinds of diseases and sicknesses among the people. And what does that show? That shows that healing is a part of the kingdom of God. God doesn't just, God doesn't just uh, preach His Word and just, you know, preach His Word that gives salvation and it does give deliverance and salvation to people. But also within this same gospel, the good news of the kingdom, there's healing in the kingdom of God. They, why, why is there healing in the kingdom of God? Because, see, for example, um, Jesus said, pray like this, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That shows that God wants His kingdom on the earth. What is, what is a part of the kingdom of God? A part of the kingdom of God is not just the love of God, the character of God, the spirit of God, but also salvation, deliverance, and healing. So when Jesus came, and he started to preach the gospel of the kingdom, he started to display the, the demonstration of the power of God through healing. So I, 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 wanna, I wanna read on, it says, verse 24. So a report about him spread throughout Samaria. People brought to him all who suffered with various illnesses and afflictions. And those who had seizures and para, paraplegics and those possessed by demons and he healed, and he healed them. Verse 25, and large crowds followed him from Galilee, the um, Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan River. 
So here is Jesus. He's 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 healing and he's preaching and people begin to hear that God begin to display his hands through Christ in a means of healing. And when they begin to come, all people were all type of illnesses and afflictions. And even those who had seizures were healed. Even those who had demons in their, in their lives, causing them to be separated from God, were delivered and healed. Now, why am I saying, why, am I, why did I read that? Because I wanted to show that in the scripture, it is God's desire to display his kingdom through healing. It is God's desire to display his glory and his power through healing. So, so in, in, reading that, in reading that, the Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I'm saying this to those individuals who are watching today. I believe that God's desire is to heal you today. Now, I don't know who, you know, who may be watching or whatnot, but I know that who knows what God can do when you stand with somebody else concerning healing. The Bible says that oh, where two or three are gathered, there he is in the midst. You know, sometimes we just give up and say, you know what, I don't even know if I may be healed. And even those watching, some of you may be saying, you know, I don't even know if I may be healed. I don't, I don't even know if, um, if God, you know, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. But one thing you probably, you, you, you maybe didn't do is have someone agree with you in prayer. And what I tell individuals is that you don't know what God can do when you get with someone else to pray for healing. You don't know what is possible when you agree with someone else concerning healing. So, so I wanted to read that, that, it's, that it's God's will to heal and to display His glory. And I want to believe with you today. No matter where you are, you probably said, you know, I prayed before. Then pray again. You know, don't, don't let, because don't let your faith in God's ability cause it to die down because you don't see immediate results. You know, I've, I've heard so many testimonies of, you know, that God may not have healed on the spot, but the next day he healed. You know, or, 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 or they got prayed for and, 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 you know, they had a dream or something like that. And because and, and, and of that dream, they, they did what God was telling them to do in that dream and they ended up getting healed. There's so many different ways God can heal. So I, wa I want to pray with you today, no matter where you are, and I want you to just stretch your hands because I believe that God has a miracle for those out there that's watching today. Now, wherever you at, just stretch your hands toward the screen. I want to pray for you. And, and I'm going to believe with you in prayer that God will heal you right where you are in that sick bed. Right where you are. Some of us, you probably dying of cancer. Some of us, you probably have a life-threatening disease and you don't have, the doctors told you you don't have that long to live. One thing I love about God is that when doctors, when the doctor says no, God says yes. That when the doctors have given up on you, that God will not give up on you. So I want to pray for you right now. So just extend your hands and I'm going to believe with you in prayer and pray that God will heal you today. So just extend your hands and bow your heads and close your eyes. And as I pray for you, Father God, I just pray, Father God, for that one watching, oh Lord, for that one watching, Father God, on this video, the Lord Jesus, I just pray even now, Jesus, that God, that your healing power would touch that one watching today. Lord God, even now, let your Holy Spirit, oh Lord, Lord, your Holy Spirit, who brings the anointing, brings the, the, the healing power of God. I pray right now for the healing of power of God to flow through through this screen father god through this through this recording lord jesus and that you'll begin to touch bodies even now lord even now lord god every sickness and disease that's on that person's sick body i rebuke cancer in jesus name i rebuke every sickness and disease that's on that body now by the authority and power of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of infirmity, I command you to loose your hold. Every demon of sickness, I command you right now to loose your grip off that person's body now in Jesus' name. And Lord God, let your healing power flow right now. Let your, thank you Jesus. Let your healing power flow right now through this screen. I just sense in this, I just sense people being healed right now. Just receive your healing. 
just receive your healing that God I, God, I receive it I receive it thank you Lord thank you Jesus and Lord God every individual who's dealing with sicknesses sicknesses Lord, sicknesses and seizures Lord even those who may be crippled Lord I just speak strength to the bones in Jesus name even those blood work even blood conditions uh, just blood conditions Lord I rebuke the sickness of blood conditions and let your healing power flow even now Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord just receive your healing some some of us who's being healed out there just do something that you have that you know some, if you have in pain or whatnot just move around move around and see if you still have in pain in that area some of us who, 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 who you know, you, 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 you couldn't move any part of your body. I want you to, by faith, begin to move that part of your body. By faith, begin to just move that part of your body. Just receive your healing. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, oh God. Amen. Now, for those, oh, for those who, um, who were healed today, I, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God has done in um in this video or whatnot through this prayer of prayer of faith and the bible says the prayer of faith the prayer of faith will save the sick that's what the word of god says in james so i want to hear from you i want to hear if god has touched you or if god has healed you today i i i i, I want to hear from you and you know what i i sense from my spirit some of us some sicknesses that some of us have in your in, in your life or whatnot um even now has come from unforgiveness I don't know who God is speaking to, but some of us out there that the, the reason why you the reason why you're still sick is because you need to forgive. And, and and whoever it is, you know some you know whoever God is bringing to your mind even now that you know that you're holding bitterness and hatred in your heart, I want you to right right now ask God to forgive you. Ask him. That's what's stopping some of us your healing. You know, that person, I don't know if that person died or that person probably could have been, had died and they went over their lives, but you're still dealing with the effects of it. You're only hurting yourself. God wants to set you free today. You know, and I want to lead, I want to lead you in this prayer of, of, for those who, who are dealing with unforgiveness. And I, I want, I, I, I'm believing that God, God wants to heal you out there who's dealing with unforgiveness. Just say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for holding bitterness and unforgiveness in my heart that that you said in your word that if I forgive men of their sins you will forgive mine in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord amen and if you have prayed that I just want to pray Father God as those Lord God those that you even showed Lord God who's dealing with unforgiveness I just pray let your healing power flow to them even now oh God that Lord God, they, they, have got, they have gotten the unforgiveness out of their hearts. Now your healing power can flow through their hearts. So Lord God, let your healing power flow even now, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I sense this, I, I sense this even now. God is healing you. He's healing you because of your faith. In, in, in giving your the, the unforgiveness and the bitterness to God, God is healing you right now because of your obedience. Thank you, Lord. Let your healing power flow now in Jesus' name. Healing power flow right now to that person's body in the name of Jesus. I even hear, I even hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, "Some you're gonna have a testimony of God's glory because of your obedience in, 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 in giving." your unforgiveness to God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. And I, like I said, I want to hear from you. I want to hear, I'm going to put out, there's going to be more videos, there's more resources from the website, uh, Fire, Fire Rum Ministries or whatnot. And I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God has done in your life. And like I said, I have, even, you know, I just want to touch this. Even if God may not heal, may, you know, some of us, you might have watched this video and, you know, you. You didn't get healed. Don't give up. Don't give up because I'm reminded of a story where a, a, a woman wanted justice in the word of God. Je Jesus gave a parable of a woman who wanted justice. And, the, and she would not leave the judge alone. <laughs> and the judge ended up giving her justice even though he was a wicked judge. Some of us, we give up too easily. 
you know, if, if I, I, I'm a firm believer that if you are a believer in the kingdom of God, healing belongs to you. Healing is available to you in the kingdom of God. And I believe that God wants to make it available. So don't give up. You know, you may not have got here through this video. Ask individuals to pray with you and to anoint you with oil. Or if that doesn't work, or if that doesn't work, or whatnot. Ask some people to fast for you. Or, or, or even ask God, Lord, give me strategic instructions to see my healing. Like Elisha with um, Naaman the Syrian. You don't know what God will do with our faith. Amen. So thank you for watching. And God bless you today. And let the Lord Jesus Christ show his glory in your life.